Hey guys, so this video is mainly to uh, explain you the concept which I am trying to implement in my CPU cabinet and the concept is the induced stack effect in the CPU cabinet using fan, okay, using the cooling fan or uh, stack, stack effect is also known as uh, draft effect. So basically what I am trying to do is the main objective of doing this project is to uh, improve the thermal performance of the CPU. So basically uh, when you do some uh, heavy tasking in, inside the CPU you know, uh, on your computer, so your processor is like loaded okay and uh, if you want uh, more performance from your uh, processor okay then what happens it it releases more heat into its surroundings that is a cpu cabinet and when it doesn't get uh, enough cooling then what will happen uh, like instead of overclocking the clock speed uh, will be reduced and thereby it will impact the performance of uh, the uh, processor so it will reduce the speed of your overall computer so that is what i want to uh, basically uh, eliminate what i am trying to do is i am tr trying to improve the thermal efficiency i am trying to uh, improve the air circulation inside the cpu i am trying to uh, extract as much heat as uh, possible as much heat as i can extract possibly okay and mainly to uh, improve the air circulation inside the cpu so that the processor is as cool as possible so the processor is every time in its operating window so i'll explain you so as you can see on the screen so this is a small presentation which i have made so uh, the image which you are seeing is the snap of uh, the cabinet uh, it, it is of my CPU cabinet so uh, this is the inside of uh, CPU cabinet right and to explain this I have uh, like tagged everything but I will explain it before starting one thing one basic concept is hot air always rises because it is less dense and, he, uh, and hence is lighter right uh, we all know hot air is lighter and it rises okay and it easily rises because why hot air, air is lighter because it has less density now coming to uh, cool air so cool air settles down because it is more dense okay and hence is heavier right obviously more density means more molecules and so uh, that will be heavier and less density means less molecules and uh, hence that means that that will be lighter so uh, lighter cheese always uh, rises like uh, you have you must have seen the vapors rising towards the uh, uh, clouds or towards the sky and hot air is always settled down now coming uh, uh, moving forward so as you can see this is the snap of my cabinet right and this is the cooling fan processor cooling fan here right cpu cooling fan sucks heat from the heat sink and transfer heat to cpu cabinet surroundings so uh, how this um, CPU uh, fan uh, is extracting heat so basically the heat onto the heat sink is sucked in by this fan and then that heat is released into this surrounding so the inside surrounding which this CPU cabinet has the heat is released into this next is the rear is motherboard and this is the lower section so I have um, like highlighted using the blue shading blue uh, border line why because in this lower section as i have already told you that cold air settles and also since there is no uh, heat generating source heat generating source means uh, here we do not have any processor any anything so this area is comparatively cooler than the than this area on the top side right so the thing is the temperature of this area is lower the temperature of this area is higher see more heat generation source that means we have processor here, we have graphics card here. So because of these two things, uh, heat will be liberated in this particular surrounding. And also because of the components on the motherboard, we will get more heat. And we have RAM also. So RAM will also contribute to some heat generation. So because of all, all those things, we will have high temperature here in this particular area. So we, if we separate this particular zone into two uh, zones, then this will be high, high uh, temperature zone and this will be less temperature zone right and because of less uh, less 
heat generation sources so the temperature will be less so we can assume that air temperature in this area is equal to the ambient temperature of the environment let's say so your room temperature is 25 degrees celsius then that means that it the temperature of this area will be around 25 to 30 degrees celsius right and the temperature in this area will be around 45 to 50 degrees celsius so now what we want to do we want to do what we want to do is if you if you see this now you see this image right so this is the concept which we want to implement now this is the cpu without stack effect right like without induced stack effect one thing i i want to tell you is stack effect happens by default whenever there will be a temperature difference then stack effect will happen but stack effect in that case is not very powerful is not very uh, efficient and the heat transfer because of that is very minimal okay but if you induce uh, stack effect induce means if you force that stack effect to happen then you can increase the heat transfer overall heat transfer right now if we read this thing uh, what i have written here is processor processor fan main source of heat produced in cpu and what i have mentioned here is the hot air is sucked by the stack fan as it creates a negative pressure and hence helps in drawing out more hot air outside the cpu cabinet this is what creates draft or stack effect now let's come to our concept how how this concept works so what i have done this i have modified this area what i have done is i have added a fan here if you can see this fan okay so similar uh, similar kind of fan so it has 1200 rpm fan so what i have done is i put a fan on the top top area of the cabinet in this area right here so i have put a mounted a fan here and the suction side is the downward side suction side means it is pulling in air it means it is sucking in air it means that it is taking air input from this side and throwing air outside as you can see from this arrow so this arrow represents the hot air okay so the hot air coming from this uh, processor fan processor cooling fan the hot air is pulled in by this fan and this uh, hot air uh, this pulled hot air is then thrown away uh, into the environment okay using this fan so this is what we call stack effect why it is induced stack effect because it has because of this addition of fan no this has increased the rate of heat transfer this has increased the rate of air circulation this has increased the rate of air suction from this particular area so suppose the heat transfer from this area was 5 watt per meter square kelvin but because of this induced fan because of this addition of uh, it will be around let's say 8 um, 8 uh, watt per meter square kelvin heat transfer so we have this delta of 3 so that is the effect created by this particular draft fan so this is the overall concept i am attaching a image of this particular slide so hope this uh, helps you to understand the concept what i am trying to do and in the further part of the video i am showing you how i have mounted all those things and i am adding an animation of a house showing the stack effect inside okay so uh, not not a forced stack effect but a default uh, forced uh, sorry stack effect in a house i'm adding that animation also to help you understand better okay okay so we have this animation where you are seeing the stack effect in a house so this blue arrow represents cooler air right so this blue air uh, blue arrow represents cooler air and it as it rises it becomes hot and then it is uh, uh, passing out through this opening on the top of the roof right so this is how effect, stack effect works so when this cool air is coming in okay and when that cool air because of the addition of temperature because of the household things and the uh, temperature because of the sun okay so that uh, cold cold air is taking in temperature and that air's temperature is rising and that uh, cold air is becoming a hot air and then because of the buoyancy effect right 
that hot air rises and then it escapes out of the uh, openings on top of the house or roof so basically through ventilators or through the windows or any any opening which it gets because of the buoyancy effect so this is the stack effect and this is what we are trying to do in our cpu also so naturally also this is happening inside the cpu but we want to force that so basically this arrow you are seeing now so just imagine that we want to increase the rate of this arrow we want to increase the amount of the arrow going through this okay let's say this is 50 arrows right now we want to make it 150 okay so we have to pay a price to make it 150 and that price is a fan so because by uh, by uh, adding a fan and putting some uh, giving some power to the fan obviously the fan will consume some energy and by uh, giving in some power to the fan you can basically increase this stack effect so this is what we are trying to achieve right